20. Yeah. Um, and the REM pod went off then when we was just trying to turn the lights off. So we are getting little bits of things already, aren't we? We certainly are. I can't have to see the baby. Is that on your cord? Yeah. Just do me a favour and clap quite yeah. loud so then it can sync up. Kim's got the clap. Started Kim in the dark. Right, guys, so we're going to do a Ouija board session. At the minute, it's just going to be me and Kim. Julie is filming, and also Chris is filming just behind us there. So we're going to do a Ouija board session first. You got your finger on, Kim? Yeah. So, good evening, spirits. We need to spin round a few yeah. times. One. Two, three. So, good evening, spirits. We're here to communicate with you tonight. If you can communicate with us through this board, we'd appreciate any response from you. If there is any spirits here, we have devices over on the floor, REM pods, a teddy bear that will light up for you as well but you could also use this board to talk and communicate with us. If there is any spirits here with us now, could you go to yes, please? <clears throat> if it's not a spirit, it's something else, could you go to yes? Why'd you have to start off going right to the demons? <laughs> Me and Kim have got our fingers on this, not you. Did you say for the board? Yeah. Yeah. Does that feel like he's moving to you, Kim? In a weird way? Or is it just my imagination? No, it doesn't feel like it's moving no. to me. Come on, if there are any spirits here with us, could you move this glass? Move it to anywhere if you can't. Move it to yes or no, or just move it in general. Just for the people at home, you can hear the people there in the bar few. downstairs that are left, but they will be moving soon. They'll be going soon. I need to put this camera down because that is really disorientating me and making me feel sick for some strange reason. Huh? Because you're staring at the screen. Yeah, I'm looking at the screen. It's, it's making me feel really sick. That's bad. So, if there is any spirits here, if you could move this glass in any way, shape or form for us, we'd like to communicate with the other side if that's possible. You're welcome to come forward and communicate with us. If you could move that glass in any way, We'd really appreciate it. Is there an afterlife? Maybe you don't want to communicate through the board. Possibly. Maybe, maybe you can walk around us, tap something. Or do you need more people on their board? If Thanks, want, Chris. <laughs> if you want me and you join, so there's four of us, can you make a tap, you know, do a tap, Sally? What's that? Sorry, oh, stomach. stomach. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going, hmm. Must be. Just feed me. Feed me, yeah. Feed you. So, devices on the floor. If you'd like us to communicate with you through them, you can set them off for us. You've been setting Vex off, why don't you do that again? Or set the vent pod off. Or move the balls on the floor. This just isn't moving at all, is it? Not as yet. 
the mar because we do need, probably need a few more people on. Do we need more energy on the board? Do we need to add more people? If you could move it a bit to say yes, then we can work with you. Was all sit down. That sounded like a little boy. Uh, little boy straight. Carry on with this, and I'll tell you after. That sounded like a little boy. George, is that you? Eruption. Does it need to be a bit louder? Within. George, are you here? If there are any spirits here, could you tell us your name? Hypocrite. Did that say hypocrite? Yeah. It did, yeah. Why do you like it? Have you just said hypocrite because of what Simon's already said it was your name? Get the food. Get the thing. Improvise. What was that? I don't know. Your phone. Your phone. George, is that you? My hair. My hair's gone on end. George, are you here now? Look at my hair. If it's not George, and we heard a child's voice come through soon as the switch on, what's your name? Please. It's me. It's me. It's me, a man's voice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's me. That was a solid deep voice. What I forgot to wait for? All the boats. All the boats. It's all about. I thought it said all the something. Is there more of you? How many of, is it of you? Did you used to work at this mill? Did I say Sai, you know? If you used to work at this mill, could... I've just did that. It's a prison, yeah. If you used to work at this mill, could you just simply say yes or no, please, if you can understand what I'm asking? Roman. 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 From the Saint. From the Saint. The Young One. The Young One. The Young One. See, we've got, we've had a young boy. It's the coach. How does it know me? Is there anybody that used to work in the mill here? Can you say yes? Get up. George, if you're here, can you say yes? Possibly. Then, why would you paint? Any kiddie adverts? At this time. 
No. no. You know what I mean? Plus, how many times I've used that, which was last week, and never had one child come through it. That's just, the, 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 the thing is, right, that actually sounds like a little boy. Yep. It genuinely Straight does. Away. Like, there's no, there's no two ways about it. It does. I, I'm, st I'm still very skeptical about apps, though, so I don't use them much. Yeah, it's but, not. Yeah, it's not proven, is it? No, well, nothing is, is it? Nothing's but, proven. Yeah. But I feel like some stuff is more reliable than apps. Okay. I thought it was a bug. I thought it was garbage. Encourage. It was over there that noise. So if you want to encourage me. Show me another camera. Eh? Show me another camera. It's up to you if you want to. So you I can feel arms aching. No, no, I've got it close to my chair. Whoa, again. Get again. What was that whistle? A whistle? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, I'm not joking you. There was a whistle when you was talking. It went. Did it? Yeah. Oh. George, if you remember, if you remember me and Julie from last time, can you come and set this teddy bear off for us to my left, just on the floor? Can you come and manipulate one of them for us? Which floor? Which floor? Which what floor? Which floor? I didn't know if you said which floor or which one. No, it said which floor. Which floor? The floor that we are on at the moment. There is a teddy on the floor. It's a dog teddy. And times. And there are some devices next to it. Could you touch the teddy? Down. Please. You know you need to go. Number nine for. So this is blue. Okay, George, we are on with more strength. Use our energy. We are on the second floor. What do you call this, the first floor? It's different in different countries. <laughs> We're not on the ground floor. We're on the next one up, George. If you... Take one shot. If you can come... If you can come to us... Just bear with me, I'm going to get up to the top floor. We are, some of you that know as well, have been to the mill quite a few times. And we've got a little boy called George coming through and we believe he's interacted with us um, within the old mill. And we've come again tonight, we've brought uh, Chris and Kim from our Conjure Paranormal with us to try and experience something. Maybe George will show himself to us or communicate with us. But these steps are in this, guys. I will turn around the camera in a minute, but it's just so hard getting up these stairs with the camera in your hands. But we are. Right, and we are coming up. To the top floor. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many spiders and everything everywhere. Oh. There we are. We're up. Welcome back to Haunting Hunters Paranormal. I've got it right tonight. Thank you for coming back again. Uh, we're here tonight at the mill. As you'd have known, we've been here quite a few times. We've had some good results here from... First, we initially thought we got a George, which we thought was an old, older male. Um, I'll show you in a second. There's, a, there's some old tools in the corner. We, we believed it was an older male called George, and they were his tools. We came again and we found out that the actual George is a little boy, a seven-year-old boy that actually fell into the mill. 
he got caught in the mill wheel and drowned. Um, this mill actually goes back to the 1200s. It is that old. It was initially run by monks and then it went into the commercial, obviously, milling side of things. It was taken on and unfortunately, the little lad fell into the wheel and died here. In one of the videos uh, from back in the days when I first started the channel, I got my hoodie pulled just down here and when we've been back again, we've actually had George coming through. Basically, what I believe he was showing us on the dousing rods where he was in the room, so that was amazing. So, I'll just show you down here. Um, there's something lurking down here, I don't know what it is. What the hell is that? What the hell is it? Hi, guys. Oh, my God, it's Julie. Julie's been up here. How long have you been up here? For a year? A year and a half. A year and a half. <laughs> She's been up here a year and a half. She's even got cut. Look, I've just had to take them cobwebs off her face. <laughs> so, yeah, we're back up here, guys. Um, this place is awesome. I love this place. And if we can get George again, it'd be fantastic. But, yeah, I'll just show you them tools I was on about over in this corner. These old tools here. For those of you that have seen our other videos, you'll know these tools. And even Big Bear for the Spider, the famous spider off one of my intros, is actually still here. Uh, oh, I've got a big cobweb. There. there. She's actually there. And she's still here. Eating away at. Oh, it's come towards me, camera. Oh, there it is. There's a nice one. If you don't like spiders, that is very big. It doesn't look big on the screen, but believe me, that is a big spider. Yeah, and there's probably 20 million more of them by the cobwebs. And there's probably 20 million more of them because the cobwebs in here, they're actually all over my camera, ugh, doing my hair. And if you don't like spiders, guys, this place is not... For you. For you at all, because it is... Yeah, it's not for Kim. Look, yeah. Kim actually doesn't want to come up here because this place is absolutely covered in cobwebs. Everywhere. So what we're going to do, we're going to go lights out. Um, I've got a little bit of a light on at the minute, just so we can see where we're walking. But we are, I am filming in night vision, but it's red hot here, it's really hot up here. Spider webs everywhere, I feel like I'm eating them. And we're just going to do some calling out up here. Just purely for sounds, really. I don't really want to try the necrophonics or Vox up here. Because this is a place I think George, before I knew it was a young child, pulled my jumper just there, just over there. And I actually thought it was John and Ben mucking around. But it wasn't because it was on two cameras, there was no one there. So it was a strange one. Um, so we'll just try some calling out up here. We've just done a Ouija board downstairs. We didn't have anything on that at all. But I put the Vox on and as you heard, we had a little boy coming through, which is strange. So we'll start off up here, we'll go pitch black and we'll just do some calling out and see how we go. Now it's dark. So good evening spirits, or George if you are here, if you're up here playing, can you come and talk to us? Can you come and communicate to us? Can you bang on something for us? There is a fan going, guys. There is a fan going at the moment just down here because the, the pub actually is still open down the, the bottom. Down the other yeah. Well. But hopefully it'll be totally empty in a few minutes. So. so, George, if you are here, can you. That's on the ceiling, isn't it? That was on the fucking ceiling. It was on the roof, you mean? No, on the roof, I mean. <laughs> I, that shot me. That was banging on the roof. That was banging on the roof. There's nothing up above us. George, is that you banging? It's three floors up. How is anything going to be there? Well, unless there's something on the roof, but that's something big if it's on the roof. George, was that you banging on the roof? George, can you 
rattle this chain in front of us? Can you make that swing for us? Or any other spirits and maybe here, can you make that move side to side? If you can see that chain there, guys. Can you make that chain swing side to side for me? Or if you are here, George, you can grab me again or you can grab Julie. No, don't grab me. Why not? Grab you. Why That's can't you grab train. me? Yeah, no, train don't grab me. Pull my t shirt to get on here to chip. Can we see the choo choo going past? No. We can hear it. Don't pull Julie's top then. Pull my top for me. Or, well, like I said, if you can rattle that chain. Be mischievous, George, if you're a little boy. We loved communicating with you last time. If you can come forward again for us. Can you bang on the roof again for us, please? Yeah, all the power's gone off now. So they're actually leaving downstairs now, which is good. And now it's gone even darker. Yes. So what I'll do, I'll put me IR booster on. Oh, it's actually on, isn't it? George, if you are here, I'd love to communicate with you. Or is anybody else here? Well, hopefully there is somebody else here with you. If not, it must be lonely. But you can come and be friends with us. You don't need to be lonely on your own. You can come and talk to us. Do something funny for us, rattle something or bang for us, make us laugh or scream even. Or run, maybe. Wow, we just got a strange flash on the screen then. I don't know if it was off the IR. Might have been off the IR. I'll debunk that for a second. How was it off the IR? I think it was a reflection off your off your face. See there. I don't know if the guys get home can see it. It might have been. It's like the the, the infrared's bouncing off your face. So it might be that, guys. Come forward, George. Come towards my voice. Come and run, come and run along the floorboards. Did you just move? No, why? Because it felt like something moved. Like on the, the floorboards. Floor You're sweating terrible. I know I'm dead hot. Yeah, it's that the floorboards have moved. I'm moving. What the heck is that? What the hell was that? I just asked it to run along the floorboards. George, are you on these floorboards now? Can you come forward now? That sounded like it was here. I know. Like a doof, doof. <sighs> That's what I mean. It felt like something was on the floor. On by the floor, my feet. I know. Can you do it again for us, George? Instead of wood, George, if you can, can you do something metallic? Metally. I'll get us both on shot to show I'm not doing anything. So, obviously, what the hell was that? That was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> 